This rabbit has been pre-medicated in preparation to be anaesthetised for routine neutering or spaying. We've clipped the uh, pre prior to applying the pre-med, applied a local anaesthetic, so we're ready to go really. And we're going to the marginal ear vein. We're going to the catheter. marginal ear vein. And you catheterise pretty much all the rabbits, don't you, for procedures and interventions like this? We do them all for, from a from a... I suppose it's a fluid therapy point of view, it's a safety point of view in terms of, you know, we've got an access point for reversal agents and things like that that we can give fairly instantly. So having an IV line there is mm -hmm. one of the things that, that just makes everything a little bit on the safer side. You can so just about just see it standing up there. Just, just like stand up here. Because of the, the, the metatomidine, obviously the peripheral mm -hmm. perfusion is a little bit on the poor side, but this is the marginal vein that we use. There is one here you can use and the artery actually runs, which you can just see here, the main artery runs yeah. to the middle here, which obviously you avoid. This is the cath that we use. And to raise, you're just going to pinch at the base of the ear. We are indeed. And then it's very similar to dog technique, isn't it, or cat technique? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, in the end of the day, it, it's, a, it's a very similar approach uh, in terms of what you do. You sometimes get vessels branching off, which can make life more awkward. And like I say, the presence of an alpha-2 may make it more different, different but you're just sliding the catheter in, just getting a yeah. little distance in, we've got some nice blood drawback. Do here. you always use a winged catheter for that? Um, Does that help Yeah, to generally, it? you have to use a 26 gauge, which this is, otherwise you, you just struggle. We then tie the bung in, okay. uh, to secure in there. What we do do for, for these, if we're going to go through into uh, theatre is we actually put an extension set on. And it just means when the rabbit is under the anaesthetised under the drapes, we can actually then access this catheter mm -hmm. from a distance away. Um, the thing I've never known is how to secure a catheter to rabbits. You know, I, I just see lots of tube and sort of bolster under the ear to sort of maintain the. Yeah, we the do. Care. We do it in. There's two ways. I suppose it's, it's securing the, the catheter in place as the first port of call. So we're just taping that in as we would do for a, any other species, any other animal. Yeah, yeah, that goes in oh, okay. basically as you would do for any other animal. Just hold that just for a second there for us, just while I organise myself. No, it's, they're so thin skin, there's no need to make a neck incision to go through the skin. No, to start not, with. At all. No, not at all. They're, 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 like I said, they're, they're literally, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just incredibly superficial here that, that you, you literally yeah. are. So um, we we'll take underneath the catheter, between the catheter and the hair right. skin, so we've got a nice clear space without hair and then one on top to one secure One on top it. to secure. Making sure we go over the skin catheter interface. And we're using uh, sticky but not uh, not very sticky tape so we can remove it without ripping the skin and that's Yes, it's, yeah, it is very easy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So this is basically going to be inserted now, just to hold so that that's catheter. that's just a couple of swabs rolled round. Taped together. And then we're just going to roll the, the tape round, and that just gives us that curve. So everything's held nicely in place. Because obviously the rabbit's here is so floppy, we can't secure it easily without that. Yeah, and that obviously stops the catheter mm -hmm. bending um, as well. So it helps just to keep it straight. Which keeps it straight. Yeah. And then we'll just get another one on here. So that should give us good function there. And that's just a couple of swabs you're using as a bolster. Yeah, I mean yeah. you could uh, you could if you wanted to use a bit, little bit of soft band or something in there. I've, but, seen, have but I've seen people using syringe cases and things to do that. You can do. Um, certainly I went through a phase of using syringe cases but they're quite unforgiving. Mm. Um, and if you want to try and keep these in you, you need the rabbit to be comfortable. Comfortable, yeah. And a syringe case poking down your ear canal that maybe isn't the best way forward whereas with a swab like this Mm -hmm. it, it tends to keep the rabbit a bit happy. Are you trying to keep the ear canal itself unoccluded, or does that not really matter? We're not so worried, really. Not so worried. Um, obviously, if we're doing ear surgery, we catheterise the other ear. <laughs> um, but, uh, so for uh, ear, for for leg, read ear. Yes. Meaning from dog to yes, rabbit. exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it is a question rabbit, of or cat to rabbit. Of, um, which way round you do Remember it? Remember so. to think of that in advance. So we're just basically using that to secure that on there with a little tab so we can take that off easily. But that's basically her ready to go now through for pre-oxygenation. Um, 
and to move into theatre basically. I will just give this a little bit of a flush just to make sure that everything is flowing nicely.